layer at a time, Vulcan prints a full house. Uh, it goes from the front of the slab to the back for one layer. And for these homes in particular, after 10 feet of printing in a few days, you have the wall system for a house. What you're seeing in front of you are layers stacked on top of each other, kind of one at, one at a time. Um, the feedback that we're getting from home, homeowners is how exciting it is to have a different choice in the material. So uh, our different layers provide this, this kind of corduroy effect, which can actually be really uh, soft and, and, and be a great experience for homeowners. It feels like a, like a fortress and uh, I, I've been in some, you know, traditionally framed homes, uh, one, two story that in a, you know, uh, kind of eastward moving Texas storm gets a little shaky inside. And uh, it kind of gives you the feel like being in a cinder block here in a, in a cozy way. Uh, so I'm, I am confident um, it, could go, it could go head on with some you know, maybe an F2, F3 tornado and be pretty resilient. Okay, so the probably the, the biggest issue that we're running into, and it's a small obstacle, and it's definitely, you know, wor worthy of what we get, you know, to live in this house. Some slight connectivity problems, you know, uh, with, with Wi-Fi. Obviously, these are really strong, thick walls. I, I think this is kind of like the first generation of the iPhone, you know, and people, a little skeptical and maybe want to see this technology bring like an immediate wave of affordability to home building or not that's not I don't really think that's how anything works you know the first technology is to usually hit the market it takes time to for the you know cost to adjust and the market to adapt